Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Don Bosco Prep is brought to you by JAG Physical Therapy. Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Hudson Catholic is brought to you by Jersey City Medical Center. Hey, what's going on, everyone? I'm Jay Cook with JerseySportsZone.com. Right behind me is a jam-packed gymnasium here in Ramsey as Don Bosco Prep hosts Hudson Catholic in the non-public A North sectional semifinal. This game is one that will be talked about for quite some time. Two McDonald's All-Americans on the floor. Tahad Pettiford for the Hawks. Dylan Harper for the Ironmen. These two All-Americans came to play. Dylan Harper, so tough to guard. The Rutgers commit slashes with the best of them in the country. And Tahad Pettiford, he's just as electric. He gets Harper off balance and buries a deep three. Hudson and Bosco in a one-point game early on. Pettiford is committed to play for Bruce Pearl at Auburn. He hit a pair of threes in the opening quarter. The Hawks are going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Ironmen, who also got a big first quarter from Kiner Asprilla. The seven-foot-one center has the offensive rebound and the putback. Don Bosco goes up 17-14 after one. Kiner Asprilla is a budding young star. Zay Brown with a perfect pass. The Colombian native finishes with a thunderous dunk on the alley-oop. 12 points, seven rebounds, four blocks for the towering sophomore on Thursday night. But it was Hudson Catholic who took control of the second quarter. Keith McKnight dials up from downtown for three. Javon Rampersand gets in on the fun. He skies for a big two-hand jam of his own. Omari Moore sinks a mid-range jumper as part of an 8-2 run late in the half. Hudson leads Bosco 29-24 at the break. The third quarter brings terrible news for Hudson Catholic though. Pettiford came out of the locker room with a brace on his left knee. The All-American would sit out the remainder of the game with an injury. Just a brutal blow to the Hawks in this playoff matchup. And this is where Don Bosco smelled blood in the water. They change to a half-court press, and the game changes completely. Harper gets it going with this lay-in. Then the shot started falling across the board. Brady Laughlin, the sharpshooter, connects for a triple. And here comes Jordan Gee. Two points in the first half, two threes in the third quarter alone. Don Bosco needs a heat check. After scoring 24 points in the first half, they are up for 25 points in the third quarter. What a turnaround. Dylan Harper led the charge. He was fired up. Bosco leads 49-36 through three. Fourth quarter, Don Bosco puts the game on ice. Harper just spectacular. A game high 26 points for the future Scarlet Knight. Bosco builds their lead up to 20 points and they will advance in the state playoffs. 67-44 is the final. It is just so rare you get two New Jersey McDonald's All-Americans facing off, let alone it being in the state playoffs. Harper and Pettiford embraced with a jersey swap after the game, but it is Don Bosco advancing to the non-public A North sectional final against St. Peter's Prep on Monday night. Obviously, you know, going through our minds, obviously to have a great player, you know, runs our, runs our whole team, our offense. Obviously, we had to, you know, take take ability, you know, see he was out, you know, just take over the game really. But, you know, that's really my guy. Grew up with him since, like, fourth fifth grade. So, you know, just to see him go out like that is terrible. Really, you know, right when we stepped on the court, you know, third quarter, you know, I, I know I made it my goal, my job to take over the game, you know, like I, like I always do. So, you know, just me having that mindset going and just going, going, going. Reporting from Ramsey, I'm Jay Cook. JerseySportsZone.com